here. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a wedding here in Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was here. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told them, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, although the servants who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this at the beginning of his signs here in Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. After this, he and his mother, his brothers, and his disciples went down to Capernaum and stayed there only a few days. The Gospel of the Lord. In this Gospel, our Lord, at first, uh, refuses to work the miracle that his mother is asking him for, to make it clear that he has not come to fulfill the hopes of man for a happiness of this world, including marriage. He, what he has come is to bring us eternal happiness, the happiness of being taken up into the life of the Most Holy Trinity. And then he does work this miracle for the happiness of this particular marriage and uh, as a kind of prophecy of the church's sacrament for all time. That insofar as marriage uh, becomes a sacrament, then it is taken up into, it belongs to, uh, in a wonderful way, in the love of God and the living with him in us and us in him. And uh, this is the mystery of marriage, the mystery of this sacrament. And it is all important uh, that we understand this and that married couples um, have their heart given to God. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. So how does a man love his wife or a wife love her husband? Because it is a part of that love, because of this sacrament, this tremendous thing. And so in the letter of the Ephesians, St. Paul, who understands this so well, he himself who wasn't married, 
he understood this mystery. And so he speaks about um, the love of the husband for the wife and the love of the wife for her husband. He who loves his wife loves himself and, 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 and similarly with the wife's love for her husband. But then he suddenly says, this is a great mystery and I'm speaking about Christ and the church. You could almost say he's not speaking about ordinary human marriage in, in, in itself, in isolation. And so this is the, uh, this is the real life of marriage, the part it has in the marriage of Christ and the church. And uh, a couple have to grow into this. Um, they grow in it because it, this is what it is at the beginning but their faith can grow and their understanding of this. And insofar as they do so, then the happiness they have will truly be uh, the beginning of heavenly happiness. Uh, and th this, is the, this is the great mystery um, that St. Paul says. This is a great mystery that I'm speaking about Christ and the church. Thank God for these three marriages. Uh, let us pray for marriage throughout the world. They may, they may understand this and not confuse the happiness and mercy of this world with the happiness and mercy, the true happiness and mercy of God. The grace of our Lord, of, uh, the grace and peace of God our Father. And the love of Christ, who with his mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, celebrated the marriage of his friends here in Cana, be with you all. We have come together to remember the first miracle of Christ at the wedding feast of his friends at Cana of Galilee. At the request of his mother, Jesus ensured the happy beginning of his friends' life together as husband and wife by changing the water into wine. In a similar manner, God blesses the love of man and woman in marriage so that their love may be the source of blessing for them and their children and a sign of union between Christ and his church. God has set these three married couples among us as a sign of his love that through the years they have remained faithful we give thanks for the favors they have received during their married lives. May God keep them in their love for each other so that they may be more and more of one mind and one heart with God and with one another. I, Trevor Downs, I, Trevor Downs, renew and reaffirm, renew and reaffirm my wedding vows to you. My wedding vows to you. Susan. Susan. Once again, I promise. Once again, I promise. To love and honour you. To love and honour you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For better or for worse for better or for worse, all the days of my life, all the days of my life. I, Susan, I, Susan, renew and reaffirm, renew and reaffirm, my wedding vows to you, my wedding vows to you. Once again, I promise, once again, I promise, Lord, increase and consecrate the love which, these, which this married couple have for one another. The wedding rings they once exchanged are the sign of their fidelity. May they continue to prosper in the grace of the sacrament. So Francis and Anna. I, Francis. I, Francis. Renew and reaffirm Renew and reaffirm my wedding vows to you. My wedding vows to you. Anna. Anna. Once again. Once again. 
I promise to love and honor you. I promise to love and honor you. I, Anna. I, Anna. Renew and reaffirm. Renew and reaffirm. My wedding vows to you. My wedding vows to you. Once again, I promise. Once again, I promise. To love and honor you. To love and honor you. Francis. Francis. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. What God has joined together, let no one break asunder. Lord, increase and consecrate the love which this married couple have for one another. The wedding rings they once exchanged to the sign of their fidelity. May they continue to prosper in the grace of, this, of the sacrament. I, prefer you. I prefer you. Renew and reaffirm. Renew and reaffirm. My wedding vows to you. My wedding vows to you. Crescentia. Crescentia. Once again, I promise. Once again, I promise. To love and honor you. To love and honor you. In good times and in bad. I, Crescentia. I, Crescentia. Renew and reaffirm. Renew and reaffirm. My wedding vows to you. My wedding vows to you. Once again. Once again. I promise to love and honor you. I promise to love and honor you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness. Lord, increase and consecrate the love which, which, these married cup, which this married couple have for one another. The wedding rings they once exchanged are the sign of their fidelity. May they continue to prosper in the grace of the sacrament. Almighty and eternal God, you have so exalted the unbreakable bond of marriage that it has become a sacramental sign of your son's union with the church as his spouse. Look with favor on these couples who have renewed their vows today. They ask for your help and the protection of the Virgin Mary. Bless also those married couples who could not be together here today. Increase as well their love for each other. Comfort and console those whose spouses have died with the sure and certain knowledge that charity is eternal and that they will be together again in heaven where all are made one in you. Lord, in their joys and struggles, let them rejoice that you are near to help them. In their needs, let them know that you are there to rescue them. In their joys, let them see that you are the source and completion of all true happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God, the Almighty Father, give you joy. Amen. May the only Son of God who brought joy to the wedding feast at Cana help you in good times and bad. Amen. May the Holy Spirit always fill your hearts with love. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.